officially welcome Pastor Luke Schumper and one accord. Thank you for your ministry with us today. Also, at this time, we will be honoring, we have the opportunity and the privilege this morning to honor one of our members and a non-member for our Black History Month. And that's um, some of the guests you see here first. I would like to bring up Ms. Dulles. She's going to assist me in this process. And I would like to bring up Elder James, our head elder. Let's bring up Sister Clark, Sister Henry. And we have another guest that is our speaker. I should have called him a guest. It's not really a guest, but um, and you'll hear more about that a little bit later. At this time, first, we would like to invite. Brother Roger Thomas Sr. up to the roster. Junior, sorry. Junior. Okay. I said, you bear with me today, not feeling quite the best. All right, at this time, um, I don't know what you should call him, officer, brother. <laughs> well, he's our very own. Um, and he was honored by the state attorney general's office. I hope I said it correctly. I know it's Moody. And Ashley Moody. He was recognized for potentially well, since for saving a um, sex trafficking victim. Right. And if, as you read the story, you realize that because he paid attention to the little things, it allowed him to make a difference in someone's life. And so, Brother Thomas, we, as your church this morning, we want to recognize you because we can't go anywhere. But you represent this church, you represent this denomination, as you are a minister, and you're out there being the hands and feet of Christ. Amen. So we recognize you this morning, and we're thankful that you are representing us well. Thank you. Amen. Mrs. Thomas is here with the high school club. Oh, she's okay. We want you to stay. Amen. Amen. We have a plaque that we'd like to read. Okay, and at this time, our mother's parents, please stand. Brother and Sister Thomas. Amen. Amen. And church family, this is the plaque that we're going to give to Sergeant on today. It reads, Sergeant Roger Thomas Jr., we honor you this day to show our appreciation for all of your hard work, dedication, and commitment to your community. Yeah. Ephesus, Seventh-day Adventist Church, Jacksonville, Florida, Dr. Ricardo Daphnis, Pastor. Oh, my 
major. He's here. I've known him for 15 years. Right. He's, he's taken me under his wing. <clears throat> he's taken me under his wing, treating me like a brother for the last 15 years. I appreciate that. And I have uh, a King Jordan here running as myself, a hard worker. Don't go places one day, so keep it up. <clears throat> I challenge, I challenge the young people. Um, you know, like I said, they're there, they're paid. We all should be successful. Uh, don't look at it as um, on most anything like that. Like a testament of what God can do for you. All right? And regardless of what you do, whether you go to Oakwood military, go get you a, a good a trade or something, keep God first and all that you do. All right? If I can say anything for you all to do for me right now is to keep us in prayer. It's been a, a tough couple of weeks. Uh, we lost one of our brothers on uh, February 5th. He was tragically shot in the head. All right? So we've been warning that. Just keep us in your prayers because, you know, it's, it's, it's hell out there on the streets. All right? we're, we're in the world, but we're not of the world. When we put this uniform on, uh, we're good back on the end. All right? And uh, we, 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 we will embrace violence to protect the life of ourselves and the life of the all. So just keep us in your prayers. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we want to take a picture uh, with, with the officers that are present, your family. And so we're going to invite that if they can come on lower level. We're going to take a picture. Amen.